you can have a total time for an activity, but you might want to further break that time down. And the way we do that is by coming in here, go to the time study, and we say the work breakout. And it says work here, a column called work, and now if I click on any call, any uh, row in this in here, it brings up this little breakout here. Right, and you can see here I've got a wait time, a manual, auto, and walk. These are classic lean parameters here. So let's say your guy was waiting for two seconds here, and then he had uh, 2.1 seconds, 2.11 seconds of um, of manual time, and you can see it, it makes it go to zero here. And then I just do the apply here, and it shows me what content. This is out of balance. Now let's say I go to the next one here. That's a perfect balance here, right? Uh, but if I wanted to do another one here, you see my value here is three. So I could just say there's uh, three seconds of wait here, and I apply that, right? And you see this shows you that we've accounted for the work, but there's an imbalance. If we go too high, like in the next one here, my time is uh, just two two seconds. So I want to come in here and say that was three seconds here, and I apply that, it's too high. So what you can do here, each one of these can contain um, separate breakouts. You can see them just by clicking on it again, how, it, how it's broken out here for each of the column here. Right, and you use the color codes to identify when you have not perfectly matched up uh, the available time uh, with the appropriate parameters weight, manual, and auto. So again, as you see here, if I put in there, uh, let's say there's three seconds of wait here, I move down to the next. You see the difference coming in here? That's telling you how much is left. And let's just say there was uh, five seconds of manual, and that would infer that there's 3.11 uh, seconds of uh, automated work. Let's say. So you could put that in there, it might be 3.11 seconds of, of, uh, of walking. So these all have to add up to the totals. If they don't, it's not a problem. You can just do a, a ballpark number and just use these as a guideline to where you may not have accounted for all the time here. So again, this is how you can actually assign uh, work breakouts to the various elements that you might be studying during a video time study.